Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Moses Mix and it is Moses Mix with one word. Don't forget that if you type two words, you won't get me. But if you type one word, you'll get me. Just click on the search button after typing that Moses Mix in one word and you'll find me. Uh, today I want to show you on how to connect your phone with the Edurom Wi-Fi or the Kenyatta University Wi-Fi and today I'm going to show you on the steps. Now first let's begin now first you'll go into your gmail messages and search for the message that the Kenyatta university sent you first and that message is called edurom the edurom credentials wi-fi login you'll find them there now after searching for the messages um, now after, after searching for the Edurom message, uh, the Edurom message credentials login, you'll see that it's Edurom 19 and there you'll find uh, the your student email address and also the password for the Wi-Fi and also the password for the Wi-Fi varies in very many people, it's not the same for everyone so the way to access it is to use your student email and also the password the, everything must be the same so as for you to log in and if you cannot connect with the password you can also sort out your friend to use his or hers it can still work it does not mean that you can only use your password so let's begin on how you can connect with the edurom wi-fi or the Kenyatta university wi-fi today let's begin today right now and now i'm going to open my wi-fi section and forget all the Kenyatta University and Edurom networks that I've connected so that I may show you how to connect back to them so that you may know on the process of how to connect back to it. Yeah, now let's begin and I'm going to show you on the process. Um, first on the edurom there's a section for the identity now, i'm going to begin with the edurom wi-fi and the section where, where you should fill your identity the anonymous identity and also your password for the laptop or the pcs it doesn't have an anonymous identity or the identity it only has the username where you insert your username so for the identity and the anonymous identity i'm going to insert my student email address which is 5675.2020 at student.ku.ac.ke I'm going to write it both on the identity and the anonymous identity and the password which we copied in our gmail messages I'm going to paste it on the password section of the I'm going to paste in the password section of the of the Wi-Fi after pasting it and uh, after pasting after after pasting it under the uh, I, under the CA certificate, I'm going to click and click on do not validate anything. And also, if you don't click on the do not vali validate anything, you'll 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 find out that the connect button does not work or it does not glow in any way so after clicking on that do not do not validate you'll see that a red message there that is written no certificate specified or your connection will not be private yeah after clicking on it you'll see that the, you now you can tap on the connect button so that you can go you can proceed with connection to wi-fi now after clicking the connect button you can see that it's something authentic authenticating and then there you are connected to the Edurom Wi-Fi. Now for the second, I'm going to go to the Kenyatta University Wi-Fi and also show you how to connect to it at uh, Kenyatta University. In the Kenyatta University, you'll also insert the identity, anonymous identity and the password. Um, everything is the same in the Kenyatta University and also the Edurom Wi-Fi. So in the Kenyatta University, you'll, you'll insert all the anonymous identity and the, and the identity and the password password just the way you said it on the edurom section so the identity will be your student email just as i said and also the password will be the one which you copied on the gmail messages after that you'll you'll click on the 
on the please select section and then do not click on the do not validate and after that after clicking on it you'll see that the connect button of the wi-fi will of the Kinect university wi-fi will 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 turn on and so that you can click on it if you have not done so you can see that you can't click on it in any way so after clicking on the connect button you see that uh, the Kinect University Wi-Fi is on the ticket in the after, uh, after a few moments you'll see that it is connected so that's the process just a simple step like that and have a nice day guys if you want to know more about anything visit my youtube channel Moses Mix don't forget Moses Mix with one word as one word no spaces in the name um, thank you for your support and also don't forget to hit the notification button and the subscribe button and don't forget to share to your friends so that because I need your support very very highly thank you guys have a nice day bye bye